Hello everyone, I've got another easy game for you to play. Um, so what you'll need to do is draw yourself two uh, number frames, uh, 10 frames, two 10 frames, two 10s we know make 20, I knew you knew, some counters and you'll need at least 20 counters each. If you can't find counters, you could use bits of Lego or you could use pasta or something like that, raisins, as long as you don't eat all your counters. And you need a dice. So you can play this on your own, but it works best. Um, in class, we called it fill to 20, which doesn't really make sense, but basically you've just got to fill your number, um, your 10 frame to 20. It works best this game if you've got another player, because then you see who is going to fill the number frames to 20. And um, you do it together. So one of you rolls first, and I've got five, so I'm going to put five on my 10 frame, but the other person also does it at the same time. So you both do it at the same time. So you're filling your 10 frames and your partner, wherever they are, somewhere mine is invisible, I'm on my own. Um, your partner's also filling theirs um, to 20 as well. Um, and what this game is really good at, it's great for asking questions like, um, have you seen how this is five along the top? We looked at five frames in class before, and do you remember that being a five frame, everyone? So you can ask questions like, uh, how many more do I need to get to 10? And see if we can work out how many that is. Um, and this game is just really good for practicing talking about numbers, just being able to say what's next or how many more. Oh my goodness. So you could say, do you know where we're going to end up already? There we go. And you just keep going. So your partner rolls and then you roll. Your partner rolls and you roll. But each time the dice is rolled, you all fill it. Now, I'm. Um, you could ask, how many have you got all together? And we shouldn't have to count this one because we know it's a 10 frame. So when it's full, that's 10. 10 and one more is 11. And if you can't remember, you could always... Um, uh, uh, look at your, excuse me, I was just pulling the lid off my pen, you could make yourself a quick number track. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh no, I'm going to have to hold this very weirdly. I'm sorry, everyone. And keep going. Oh, look, I ran out of space, but you could keep going and you can use this number track then to help you. So if you knew that you were on 10 and you had one more, uh, it's 11, I remember now. So the partner's going to roll. Three, one, two, three. There we go. Oh, look, how many have I got now? I've got 10 and four, 10 and four more. Hmm. 10 and four more. One, two, three, four, four, 14. Good. And then I'm going to roll. And who will fill it? Two, three, four. Who will fill it to 20? Ready? This is my partner, my imaginary partner. Hey, well done. We got to 20. So remember, this game is really just about asking lots of questions about number. How many more? What number comes next? Um, if you had one more, what would that be? All those kind of numbers. Have fun. Mm -hmm.